So the exercise is called the independent fingers and uh, today you are going to be working with the uh, tripless part from the light and shadows song. So the initial position of the hand is like this. Not like this, not like that, not like that, but like this. Your fingers are completely bended. The position of your hand and elbow is pretty standard. It should be leveled with the keyboard. So, and it's stable. Very good. Okay, the first triplet, the first four triplet, triplets sound like that. So I play with my fourth, second, and first finger. This is the fingering uh, which I recommend for piano accordion. And uh, that's it. There should be some distance in between your fingers. You're not holding your hand like that, but more or less, more or less like that. And uh, the idea is that every one of your, of your fingers is touching the keyboard except the one you're going to be playing with. So in my case, I start with the fourth finger. It should be a little bit up. It should be a little bit up so it does not have any contact with uh, the key because uh, what we are going to be doing it what we are going to be doing, we are going to use it to press the key, but shouldn't be in contact with the key before playing. You play with your nail and it, you pull your bellows, this is very important thing, you pull your bellows so your keyboard gets hard and it should sound more or less like a demonstrate. That's it. Your sound should be pretty short, very clear. You do it very slowly. I'm doing it a little bit faster because I got somewhat I somewhat got used to it. But in the very beginning, do it three or three or four times as slowly as I'm doing it right now. Keep in mind uh, everything that I explained to you before. And, uh, yeah, like to uh, play with my third and second finger is much easier because these are, you know, the strongest, uh, the strongest uh, fingers, especially, you know, this kind of movement, I'm not, uh, it's much easier. The fifth one, the fourth one, it's a little, a little bit more tough, but you know, you to train and uh, slowly you'll get used to it. It's gonna take a week, maybe 10 days, maybe two weeks. But if you practice every day for 15, 20 minutes, 10, 15, 20 minutes, it's, uh, in, in the very first few days, it's gonna be enough for you. So yeah, and the other important thing uh, point that I'd like to make here you know you play this first triplet then you move to the black key when you're moving to your to the black key you're not gonna be moving your fingers or some uh, in some way you know uh, make your make the position of your hand strange or weird but very simply, you're gonna be moving your hand and elbow a little bit. That's it. Remember to do it very slowly, very slowly, and pay attention not to make the incorrect sound because very often, especially in the beginning, you're gonna be playing like that. So it's like too long sound, it's not good, you should be striving towards this, you know, short and clear sound. You do it very slowly. Very good. 
that's it. This is the first exercise. We have a few more, which are gonna uh, make the whole combination of uh, this whole system, which is gonna help you to make your technique super good, super, you're gonna be a super su successful accordionist.